the hat man the alpha hey guys welcome back to the channel today i bring you 10 more 3ds programs that i think are pretty cool last time i did 10 as well so with this video that makes 20 apps be sure to watch that other video after this one all right gang be sure to like subscribe hit the bell Share the video, and comment your favorite giraffe. Why giraffes? I have no idea. Just do it. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the sweet list. And remember, all links are in the description. This amazing program replaces Nintendo's network and allows for multiplayer and friend adding through new servers. It's not perfect yet, but it's getting there. A note before using it though, your Pretendo username has to be different from your Nintendo username. I don't know why, but that's what it says on the website. Now, here's a quick look at what progress they have made. This sweet program adds a new way to enjoy Spot Pass by allowing passes over the internet. Welcome back to the days of doing daily minigames and checking out where your passes come from. Ah, it's good to be back. This one is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's traditional 3D glasses from back in the day. Red and blue have never looked this good. <laughs> It's time to pop in your copy of Shrek into that VHS player and watch it in 3D like never before. Grab some popcorn and relax. This app is perfect for when you just want to read something. It does what you think it should do very well, and that's display books. On the screen, I have loaded A Brave New World, though for some reason it displays each chapter as one page. So that might be something to consider if you want to use this. Also, it does display images, so that's neat. Normally, I try to avoid .3dsx apps because .3dsx is kinda lame. I want stuff on my home menu, but this one is too cool to pass up. This is an open source browser. That's right, someone made a new browser. Now, it's kind of a novelty only, but if we put some pressure on the devs, we might be able to convince them to keep going. Maybe they can even get things like YouTube and Google Drive to work. Who knows? As you can see on the screen, this app lets you control your PC. That means streaming games from your 3DS as well. Watch me play PC Doom for a moment. Yeah, this is very cool, and if you're at home, the connection stability is pretty good. I have not tested it while connected to public Wi-Fi or a hotspot though. I'm sure it's still good enough. <laughs> Do note though, the 3DS is locked to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi connections. Okay, this one is pretty sick. It lets you manage all games up to Generation 7 of Pokemon. That means your Virtual Console Gen 1 and 2 games, your Homebrew Virtual Console Gen 3 games, your Gen 4 and 5 cartridges, and your Gen 6 and 7 games as well. You can store your Pokemon in the app like a bank, move Pokemon from game to game, and back up the saves. You can even edit Pokemon stats. It's a very robust program and if you're a Pokey fan, get this ASAP. Watch me demo storing Pokemon. This one is not an app to use all the time, but it is important. The one time you use it, it dumps your spot pass data into an archive and that lets work be done to restore all spot pass events that have ever happened. It's called the Spot Pass Archival Project. I'll leave a link to their main page in the description. If you want to help archive Nintendo 3DS history, dump your spot pass data ASAP. FTPD is a phenomenal app. 
What it is, is a file sharing software that lets you connect to apps such as FileZilla to share files to the 3DS over the internet. That means no need for taking out your micro SD card to put files on it. Sure, it's probably a little slower than the latter option depending on your connection, but do you really want to pull out the screwdriver for your new Nintendo 3DS XL? Yeah, me either. This is another .3DSX app, so that means going to the homebrew launcher. But this is worth the hassle because it lets you make DSiWare titles out of your regular DS ROMs. By that, I mean that it makes an icon on the home screen that links to the game. They do count as DSiWare, so that means you're limited to about 45 titles. That's the downside. On the bright side, you can use Twilight Menu to play your other games if you fill up your allotment of DSiWare. Once again, I would like to make some honorable mentions. These two go without saying. You need these guys. This is one of the app stores mentioned last time. You need this guy. Lastly, I wanted to make a plea for a cool program that needs fixing. There's a program out there called 3DSX Launcher Loader that lets you create .3DSX file home menu forwarders. It's by the legendary Renegada Monte. It would have put .3DSX programs onto the home menu so that you don't have to keep going to the homebrew launcher and scrolling around, but it does not work anymore. I ask that you sweet, kind people help me find a fix ASAP. Thanks. The links for this one are in the description. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on to the next stuff. Simply launch the Universal Updater app. Search for Nimbus and install the CIA file. Don't forget to make an account. You can do this via the website or, once Pretendo is loaded through the app, you can sign up on your 3DS. Again, launch the Universal Updater app, search for NetPass, and install the CIA file. For this one, you must use the link in the description. Once you have it downloaded, simply put it on your SD card. Then, using FBI, you can install the app. Once again, download this from the Universal Updater app. Search for DWriter and install the CIA file. Then, create a folder in the root of your SD card named Books. This is where you will place your EPUB files. This one is a little different. First, download from the link in the description, but also download the resources zip file too. Place the .3dsx file inside of your 3ds folder on your micro SD card. Then, in the root of your SD card, make a folder called Share. And, inside of that folder, make another folder called NetSurf. Lastly, extract the files directly inside of the NetSurf folder. In Universal Updater, search Moonlight and install the CIA file. Now, from the second link for Moonlight in the description, download the file from the latest release called Sunshine Windows Installer.exe. Install it. Now, launch it. It will open a tab in your browser. If it says, unsafe, proceed anyway. Now you will create a username and password. These cannot be reset without uninstalling and reinstalling the program, so write them down. Navigate now to the configuration tab of the web page. Then, within this page, navigate to network and scroll down to external IP. Next, navigate to your system settings. 
Locate the network settings. Navigate to the properties of your current network and locate the IPv4 address. It should start with 192.168. Type that address into the external IP field in the web page. Grab your 3DS and launch Moonlight. Press A on New. Type the same IP from before. Then connect to it. An option called Pair shows up. Press it. Return to the Sunshine web page. Navigate to the PIN page from the yellow bar. Enter the PIN from the 3DS screen. Now your two systems are paired. You can now press Connect again and choose from the options. From the links provided, download PKSM. Move the CIA file to your SD card. Now install using FBI. From the links provided, download SpotPass Dumper 11. Move the CIA file to your SD card. Now install using FBI. Again, from the links in the description, download FTPD. Move the CIA file to your SD card. Now, install using FBI. Launch the software. Next, on your PC, download FileZilla from the second link provided for FTPD in the description. Once installed, locate the host field at the top of the program. On your 3DS is your IP address and the port. Enter the IP address with the colon and port into the host field, as shown in this example. Then press Quick Connect. Congrats! You can now move files to your 3DS. This is the last one. One last time, open Universal Updater. Search for NDS Forwarder. Install the app as shown. That's it. Well guys, we're now at 20 sweet homebrew programs for the Nintendo 3DS. Hopefully you found these interesting and or useful. I don't know that I can find another 10 really good ones for a long time. The homebrew scene seems to have slowed down right now. The 3DS is getting very old, so that's expected. But with all of these tools, your 3DS should have many more years of life in it. Anywho, I once again ask that you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It helps a lot. Let me know what you think about all these cool apps. We shall meet again. See you later, guys. Adios.